Hi, this is Keith and Car 89 with a follow up review of the Max Toys 1 4th scale Joker set from The Dark Knight. And as you can see, it's now fully on the body. And I'll just scroll down the figure. Just got him on a quarter scale doll stand. And I'll start with the uh, with the head, the mask at the bottom. Now, what this actually was um, in the original Hot Toys, I don't know if that was the case, quarter scale or enter bay even, um, was that it came with actually a strap that the Joker could hold to keep the face. Um, this one actually doesn't, but I have tried and you can actually put it on the Joker's head, but it will splay out because of his hair. But it is possible, if necessary, to put it on the figure. I'll have a look at the shoes as well. Now, the shoes come as basically a single moulded piece. So the laces aren't very visible at all. Um, on the custom costume set for the 1-6 scale Joker that I have, the laces are actually a separate piece, um, not moulded like this. And they are a different colour, actually. They're, a, they're a, like a, a sand or tan colour, where these are... Just a very dark kind of purple color, brown, mellow rustic brown. They're okay, but I kind of would have preferred the ones that were on the 1.6, like a more loafer style. I may look in the future at just touching these up or painting them. We've got the Joker socks. Now also I will point out on these shoes that they had a very small um, peg hole, so on the Koo model, the Koo model actually comes with uh, feet already on it. Uh, they are quite a wide um, hole in the foot, so they come with actually an extra plug on top of the normal foot peg. Um, so that was easy enough to remove, but they actually slide in to the shoes at an angle. So you have to pivot the foot back um, to make it flat. Just scrolling up on the trousers, very nice pin start pinstripe trouser, a little short in my opinion, um, but you can actually um, fix that by removing the braces I expect and just dropping the trousers a little bit. The cape on the, uh, excuse me, the coat on the bottom here has a wire running from front to back so you can actually pose the coat as you wish and that's on both sides obviously. Right, really good tailoring on the actual figure. Um, I've left the waistcoat open so you can just see underneath. He actually does have proper clip braces that clip onto buttons inside the trousers. I would very much recommend using tweezers on those uh, because the leather or pleather that's on there is quite thin. Um, so you will need to be very careful about not ripping that um, with uh, force trying to get the uh, the braces over the buttons as you can see he's got his uh, suit or his jacket very well tailored and the waistcoat the waistcoat is probably um, my least favorite of any of the layers of clothing um, it's very tight anyway and uh, I really would prefer, certainly on the 1.6 version as well, um, that it came with actually a little bit of Velcro rather than trying to get stud buttons um, to close the jacket. It's, a, it's just a chore. So, I mean, I'm happy to leave it open, but uh, I suppose I will look at getting maybe a very small, thin Velcro to, uh, to close it. The tie is actually uh, something you can tie yourself which was quite fun trying. Um, thankfully, I remembered how to tie a tie. I don't wear that many. Um, a lovely coat, very nice material on this. Now, this brings me to my second niggle, and it was something which may have noticed coming out of the box. You have the inside grenade holder, but this figure doesn't actually come with any grenades. None at all. So that 
uh, maybe might be an explanation for the empty bags. Maybe there was a uh, a sort of pins and and the safety pins on it in one bag and the and the string uh, to uh, put the ringlet on his finger and then maybe in the other bag it was supposed to be the grenades but uh, as I can show you again on the actual image there are no grenades featured but there is next to the jacket the grenade holder so I don't know if um, if it was something that was removed at, at the last minute from this set um, I've no idea but uh, just before I stay on the head I'll go back down uh, to where I was and I'll show you the knife that's in his hand now the knife is just a solid piece you can't actually draw the blade I didn't fully expect that to be a case um, the engineering alone would have uh, would have boosted the price but it's very nicely detailed for a singular piece it's clearly a draw blade and the gloves are, are nice too, nicely sculpted. And again, they do just plug into a central hand peg, or wrist peg even. Nice tailoring on the jacket, on the uh, on the sleeve of the coat even. I keep saying jacket. Right, and let's go up to what you wanted to see. Heath Ledger. Now, I have to say, I think that is a really, really good portrait. I think with the eyes looking up, it uh, it kind of limits the way you compose the figure. Um, I kind of think with the, with the uh, the eyes pointing up, it's nice to sort of lean the head forward. Um, I've put a tilt on mine. Um, I you know I kind of like that that tilted look. But uh, there's no mistaking who that is. That's clearly. Heath Ledger, and I have to say that uh, you know it is it is the only Joker quarter scale head custom that I've seen. Uh, obviously, Enter Bay has uh, has a quarter scale, and uh, Necker has a quarter scale. So there are options if you decide to uh, go the expensive route of uh, trying to head swap. Um, I know Necker's head is is very good. I've had a look at that, but I'm really happy with this one. I don't think I'd change it. And I'll just go across to the gun. Again, quarter scale, no moving parts. Um, you uh, you can't remove the clip or move the uh, the shoulder brace, as I said. But nicely detailed on the barrel. But uh, really good. And there are buttons on the uh, on the coat sleeve, as you can see there. Nice detail. Right. So overall, for this entire set, including the body and the Max Toys custom, I think I paid around the same price as a NECA quarter scale, about a hundred pounds, one hundred and twenty pounds. Um, the necker may well have gone up from the last time I looked. I have no idea. Um, but this was about £120 from start to finish, including shipping. Um, which is, again, why I was prepared to uh, to try again at the lower price for the custom Joker set. I thought it was at least worth having a try to get it. It has come, and I'm certainly not disappointed with it. I would really recommend this set. Again, it's Max Toys quarter scale it's JK01 and if you can get it for a really good price do look at all sellers that are carrying it because the prices do radically vary from seller to seller and um, just make sure you get a good uh, good feedback rating and a seller rating and you know pull the trigger if you uh, if you want a nice joker because I'm really am over the moon with this one I think the detailing on it is good a um, couple of things missing <clears throat> as I said the grenades are probably the most important thing but on reviews that I've watched um, if you do put the grenades in the uh, the enter bay they do seem to weigh the coat down somewhat on one side and it, it, it doesn't look um, 
it, it, you can certainly tell they're being weighed down. Now, I don't have a problem with that, um, and I may well try and get uh, try and get some enter bay grenades at a later date. Uh, I have ordered a sawed-off shotgun um, for the figure in quarter scale. Um, so I thought I might try either you know, posing it with two guns or uh, maybe changing the posing up as I see fit. But really that's all I can say about this figure. I'm very happy with it. I would certainly recommend it. If you have a coup model body, um, then, uh, you know, do check out the uh, the options for the body. You know, you can get a uh, Tony Stark or a business suit for Bruce Wayne or for Tony Stark through Asmus, I believe. Um, and that is certainly worth getting. And I would heartily recommend this set to put on the body as well. Uh, my only gripe with the, with the actual costume, as I said, is the uh, the really difficulty in getting the buttons clasped on the waistcoat. But if you're prepared to uh, just you know spend a little extra money putting a touch of Velcro on there, I think that would just make it a lot easier than trying to fiddle with these, with press studs um, to close it up. Anyway, that's my review. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.